Total can be downloaded and installed right from the web. Open your browser and go to allamode.com. Click on My Account and log in with your Allamode username and password. If you have an X site, this is the same username and password. If you don't know your login information, call us at 1 800 Allamode and we'll send it to you. Click My Downloads and download the install file to your desktop. You'll need your authorization code in a moment, so leave this window open. After the file downloads, go to your desktop and double-click the file. Next, accept the license agreement and choose your install option you will most likely choose to install as a standalone computer. When it's done installing, click Finish. You can now delete the install file and leave the program icon with the house on your desktop. You can use this shortcut to open Total. When you open Total for the first time, you need to put in your authorization code and register the program. Next, add a user. Add a company contact, fill out your company info, and click Save. Add a password for your user and a security question and answer in case you forget it. Click OK. Next, set up your company's office information in total. Click Tools, Configure Settings, then Office Settings. Fill out your company's info, including address, as the information on this screen will be used to populate your automatic invoices and any driving directions. Click Apply to save your changes. Next, let's set up our digital signature. Start by signing a white sheet of paper and scan it into your computer, preferably at a resolution of 300 dpi. You'll want to crop the extra white space from around the signature. If your scanning software doesn't do this for you, you can use Paint to do it. Open the image in Paint, select the rectangular area, then crop and save the image. Configure your license info for your user. Click User Management, Select yourself and click Edit. Click the User and License Settings tab. Type in your license number, state, and expiration date. Then add your digital signature. All this information will be used to populate the signing section of the major forms. Notice that if you are licensed in more than one state, you can set up more than one license for each user. As you create your reports and save them into the Files Power View here, Total stores your report files in your My Documents folders. For instance, in Windows 7, the blue folders up top store the reports in your personal Windows user My Documents, and the manila folders into the public My Documents folder.
For my examples here, I'll use the Manila Public Documents folders. Click the plus sign to expand. You can create new subfolders in the Files Power View by right-clicking a parent folder. In this case, I'll set up folders for 2011 and 2012, and for two people in my office under each one of those. I just right-click and choose to add a new folder. Notice that Total comes with a folder marked Templates. If you're coming from a different form filling software, this procedure might be a little different for you. Our software doesn't lock you into only certain packs of files and forms. In Total, any report can be used as a template. In fact, each of these files you see here are nothing more than reports that have blank forms added to them and then were named Template. For example, let's say I wanted to create a template for UAD 1004 reports. From within the templates folder I click New and simply name the report 1004 UAD and click Open. When the order form comes up I click Contents and add in the forms that I want. I just find them and drag them into the order that I want. Then I'll save the changes. If there is any text that I want included with the forms each time I use this template, I can add it now. For instance, you may want to include some standard text in your addendum, or even a copy of your license. Make any changes you want, then save the template report. Now that you've created your template report, the next time you want to use it, you go to the folder where you want to create your new report and click New. Fill out the Jump Start screen and click Merge. Choose the Template file from the Templates folder and at the top make sure that you've selected to use the whole report. Click Merge. Your report now matches your template file.